matter because everywhere he went, uh, if you see the, if you meet uh, the ulama, like uh, uh, Tifnubu called them, he will quickly start singing to, for them. Soli, 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 lulua, soli. You know the people that are facing hardship, the people that he is leading to the, leading into further poverty. He knows it. But they are Muslims, Abi. He will go when he meet them. He will start singing. Eh, yeba mi yombo luwa soni eh yombo anobi salala wale salala wale wa salam. They will forget about all, what he's doing to them. Then after that, he will start telling them about God. You remember when the people of uh, Judah, when the people of uh, Medina, when the people of this or that, when they were facing this or that, Allah sent you know that nonsense. He will just feed them with that nonsense. They will just started praying. Oh, God, God, help him. He just know that he has a clean heart. He will, when he meets the Ogbonis, eh? When they say, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He meets them. He, he blended with them so well. He was robbing them. And he was blaming other people for them. Some of the ideas of how they robbed people in Oshun, many of those ideas, they, they have infused them into Bokwari's government. So, luckily, Bukwari just became the president of Nigeria. Oyetola, Tifnumbu's cousin, eh, became the governor. So they could cover up all of this. So Bukwari made uh, Aregbe Mugbo, the minister of uh, national holiday in Nigeria and the national presence in Nigeria. That's his position. That's his portfolio. When they won't tell you, say, be, you get one position, minister, they will tell you, say, it's the minister of uh, internal affairs. Which internal affairs? He's the minister of uh, prison and imprisonment, as well as the minister of a uh, national holiday in Nigeria. Aregbe Mugbo Babaka Biru. But it didn't take long before Aregbe Mugbo was like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, you told to Buru, this one, Kalao. Guess what? Oh, you didn't know that uh, maybe he was going to lose, right? Between July and uh, November, when Oletola Ole lost election in Oshun, Oletola, and with the cooperation of those God knows, they have managed to plunge the people of Oshun, plus his own debt, plus that of Aregbe Mugbo, eh, Baba Kabiru, for the two of them, oh, now Oshun people, or the government of Oshun and the people of Oshun, they are now in debtedness. I mean, so they are now in a debt of uh, over 331 billion naira. That is just it. Oh. I mean, that's just a start. Oh. The second part of uh, the debt of the people of Oshun State today eh, is now considered to be over 70 billion on pension areas, gratuities, and salaries. Haregbe Mugbo convinced people of Oshun to collect half salary. Baba, they no complain. When you say, they say, ah, no mind them. Now juju they use. Now babala wo omo. If poverty hits you so much, sometimes eh, you would have to create some reason, some 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 kind of uh, reasons for yourself why you can't fight. My yagun, let me tell you. Now juju, ah, he convinced them to collect half salary, to collect twenty percent salary, thirty percent salary. Omo they no complain. They will still come out there and say, yeah, he was, he's because the state is cash crunch. It's because of this. I say, ah, ah, Omo, Ili is strong, you. Are you with me? So, Ole Tola said, he left uh, money for the people of Oshu. Ade Dansa, Ade Jackson, Says Iranio, now the record be this. Yo, I'll tell you what he said in details. Of the explainer say, yeah, yeah. You will not leave any detail. What do you think is going to be the future of the people of Oshun in this contraption called Nigeria? Bokwari, you know, I've been telling you something about uh, Bokwari providing money for this, providing money for that. And many, many of you have no idea of those money. And those people they collected those money. Because they said, oh, they were unable to pay salaries. Some of them were holding salaries of uh, four years, five years, three years, two years. They collected all those billions. Eh? They shared the money. And the salaries and the gratuities and the pensions are still unpaid. And they are still there. 
telling you that they are fighting for your future. We are doing everything for you. Hey, you are ungrateful. And you're blah, 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 blah. So Oshun State collected money. Now, the people of Oshun, you will pay the debt for the next 28 years. You that is watching me, you are laughing. Wait till you hear the story of the, of the rogue in charge of your own state too. You will now realize that a man they do man. Maybe we agree saying a man they do man. Eh? Now black man they do black man. Before you point finger anywhere, but my brother, take a look at that mirror. Very carefully. Don't pretend. Don't, don't, I mean, ignore your prejudices and all of that. Ignore your biases and all of that. Forget all of that now. Look at that mirror, you go see our brother, they do brother. Eh? We are saying that Nigeria is uh, poorly uh, forced and fused together. And therefore, it has contributed to the level of the monumental poverty that people are, people are subjected to. And guess what? Whether it is poverty, whether it is uh, uh, insecurity, whether it is infrastructural underdevelopment, and all these things that really matter, that helps people's, uh, you know, that helps human uh, development. All these things are lacking. But when you look at those who have made those things disappearing, they are the same people who speak the same language like you. You know what I mean? And that is why I don't like it when people try to, uh, when people want to brainwash you. That's, it's called brainwashing. And it is, very, it is very common in Nigeria. You know that. Eh? It is easier for an Igbo man to blame Fulani man for why whatever the Igbos are facing in Nigeria, why they are facing what they are facing in Nigeria. It's easier. You can even blame an, a Yoruba man. It's convenient for the ignorant ones. Though. I'm not saying everybody. Though. The ignorant, you see an Igbo, ignorant Igbo. It will, it will conveniently point fingers. Fulani want to enslave us. Fulani want to enslave all of us. But guess what? Guess those who are actually holding the chain of that slavery. And what actually makes us uh, enslaved in a place that we are supposed to be living in abundance, Abi, eh, is because those who are saddled with the responsibility of uh, make, giving us access to those things, they have, uh, they have privatized them. And guess what? They are the same people that look like you and me. Now, when you see one uh, Dumbo ignorant uh, Yoruba as well, it will tell you, an Igbo man is a problem. It's his problem. You will see him. He will say, a full animal want to imprison him. Oh, a full animal want to come and, uh, 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 you know, they want to come and uh, enslave us. We need to free ourselves from the full animals. We need to free ourselves from the Igbos. We need to free ourselves. They are always creating those we need to, but themselves. But guess what? Now, man, they do man. Now, brother, they do brother. If you don't want to use your biases at all, if you pay attention very well, now, if brothers stay with brothers, eh, number one, oh, number one thing, oh, they would have realized that eh, this arrangement is no pure, it no serve anybody's interest. When you look at poverty, insecurity, and all these things that have actually kept our people down somehow, you will realize that eh, you know no tribe, you know no religion, we are all suffering in it. But we kind of sometimes, so conveniently, ignore some obvious. Over 400 billion naira. It's supposed to be a liquid resources that are supposed to go into something. I mean, private thing. I mean, some, some particular things that should be or should be of a direct impact on the lives of our people. It's all scam. It's all fraud. And that's what they do. So when you begin to look inward one by one, you will realize that uh, before we finally go after those we want to, we suspect to be after us, are you sure you are not pretending that uh, your brother is not involved? In Oshun State, 400 and something billion in debt. But this guy did a wonderful job by explaining it until their uh, social media vuvuzelas decided to just throw something on social media. Hey, now the money with the account be that. Government is a continuum. Ha! 407 billion. And there's nothing to point it at and say, oh, this is what we did with that. That's what we have done with that. Nothing. Most of this money, they, were, they, they took them out. This loan, they took them out, rush, rush. Between July and November, and Nigerian Central Bank approved the money. Now, they said the money, no day inside their account. Now, listen to this. Oh. Now, from the office of the owner, Tony General there. And I'm going to break it down as they have done. The little resources that could have uh, built better schools. 
uh, you know, invest in that education and make education accessible to the children of Yoruba land or the people of Oshun State. Investment that could have gone into providing, uh, you know, uh, you know, motorable uh, and lasting uh, roads, medical facilities, fund them conveniently. This money, more than 60 to 70 percent of them will probably be in private pockets right now, and they are likely never going to be recovered. Remember that uh, the accountant general of Nigeria, for how easy it is for you to steal money in Nigeria, and you only get to know or detected only because uh, somebody is trying to like uh, rat on you. Now, let me take you back a little bit again. When uh, I was telling you about uh, Onyilola, when they said Onyilola stole 10 billion, People were screaming, ah, 10 billion, ah, 10 billion, you know what I mean. Aregbe Mugbo came. They said, Aregbe Mugbo stole over 100 billion. Ah, Aregbe Mugbo, you know what i Now, oh, little is here. Eh? And we are probably so sure that he is probably stolen maybe over 200 billion. He will be accused. And the people will say, ah, but don't open your mouth too much because the person that is showing this to us, he himself, eh, is there for the same business. Now, the people, you, the people, you are actually the losers, right? Now, according to his office in Oshun, make I explain how this money comes by you. Sure, you get. So, Ade Jackson, Ade Governor, Ade uh, Dancers, eh? Ade Dancer called the others and the people of Oshun, and he said, listen, my administration, no, he said his administration inherited eight outstanding loan facilities apart from salaries and pension debts from Governor Oyetola's administration. That's what you are seeing on your screen, oh. Ari Baba TV, thank you, eh? Thank you for that. So, um, El Rufaya made sure that he made his son a candidate for House of Rep, of course, and he's probably going to be the rep for that place because they will write all of that. And made uh, the other contest uh, contestants defect to PDP. Before you know, now the Peking will come begin contest governor. That's the deal, Baba. Now, the Mugus that listen to them, eh, hoping that uh, they will probably do something different this time. Now, them. We should feel sorry for, but I actually don't even have any sorry to give anymore anyway. Now, listen to this. So, according to this guy, he said, the repayment for this loan, made them break it down for you, eh? They said that uh, it will take 28 years for the people of Oshun to pay back this money, which means if you are giving birth to any child this month as uh, from Oshun State, you are giving birth to a child that is coming into this world to spend 28 years of his life, not to expect any real development, it will be a miracle if he, is even able, he or she is able to attend schools, get proper medical care, as long as Nigeria exists in Oshun State for the next 28 years. So don't promise that your child do, that the future is coming to be great. Oh. That's one lie you shouldn't tell your children, oh, except if you have another plan. Oh. I'm saying this to you as a father, as a, a generation, I mean, as somebody, a product of a generation that was told that we were the leaders of tomorrow. It didn't take long for us to, I mean, to detect that lie. We are not. We are not leaders of tomorrow. We are sacrificial animals to keep Nigeria. So therefore, we are the sacrificial animals for tomorrow. Whatever you do, as long as they keep Nigeria one, as you they go there now, they do your marriage. I'm not trying to scare you. Before you begin to say now your mother-in-law, now in the cause of this issue, uh, now the mother-in-law of your wife, or now somebody somewhere is after you. The moment you got married, everything's just changed. My brother, Dirao, Dira very well, low, especially if you are from Oshun State. Other places are not are not pure. Don't think you are you are going to run away from Oshun and go somewhere else. So. Because that place you are running to, the old place don't tight as well. Now, the same shege that they show everybody. But the good thing is that uh, you will have an idea of where your own shege is coming from. So, we are Adira. Kodira, 28 years from now, eh? whatever you get, just take them. 
By the time a day dancer had his own to the whole thing, if he end up being like a 50 years or 100 years, majority of you championing for one like Nigeria, for whatever thing they have told you or you have seen in your dream or what APC or any of them is telling you, if you see the whole long thing, others, they tell you, say light go day after the, the dark tunnel. That's another lie that we have discovered. Researchers who have been to the future, they are, they are back. Don't let anybody lie to you. If you are a young person watching me right now, don't let your mommy or your daddy lie to you. Don't let them tell you that hard work is what will make you this and that. In no, 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 no. There is more to it too, that will ever actually get you above water and keep you keep your head above water. There is no light at the, the, uh, the end of the tunnel. Those who went to go and check for us, they said they have stolen the light. It's all about the daylight. Which daylight? Now you put the daylight there. Oh, my travel in darkness in it. And to understand the darkness very well, if you are from Ocean State, this is not a joke. I'm not trying to be funny to you. I'm just trying to like lighten your mood a bit. It's a sorry case. Very, very sorry case. But again, you will pretend the Pope ball and continue to pray that uh, oh God will shock you. Shame in the God to my shocky. Eh? Oh. Uh, with all this shock, shock, we there everywhere. You better understand this better, eh? Dig Bessie, that is in front of Oshun people. That the children and the children, children in Oshun, if you are 10 years old today, if you are 20 years old watching me right now, the next 28 years of your life, eh? Eh? I don't know person and we in deo. I don't just pretend to say I know. I don't know. But as it be so, you know they your hand again, oh. They don't mortgage them. Want it, ah? So don't pretend later and begin to wonder if somebody is after you or somebody is against your destiny. Destiny, I go go lot to mortgage you. This is how they have mortgaged it. And don't expect anything. Anything serious whatsoever. So according to this guy, he said for the next 28 years, this and other years are what it will take to pay back this money. By the time he had his own, God knows how long it's going to be. But wait till he said, they took a... Oh, hang on. One moment. They took a five billion... Uh, uh, sorry. They took uh, a budget support facility, which is uh, a budget loan. They borrowed 51.8 billion. So they are paying back every month from Oshun's allocation. They are paying back 154.9 million naira every month. So on that one, they have outstanding payment of 335 months, which is 27 years and nine months. That's how long they will pay that one back by paying 154 million and 900 thousand every month. Another money that they borrowed is called bailout salary bailouts. So in that one, they have outstanding balance of 38.8 billion to pay back. So currently, Oshun State is paying back 232 million, 770,000 naira every month. So they have uh, 167 months, which is equal to 13 years to pay back. Another one is called restructured commercial bank loans they have a balance of 158 billion 158.77 billion in that one they are currently paying back 1.14 billion every month from their allocation so they have uh, 139 months which is 11 years 6 months to pay back if they continue to pay the uh, 200, uh, what do you call it? Now, if they continue to pay 158.7, sorry. Uh, well, so if they continue to pay 1.14 billion, rather. Uh, they also took uh, another loan from the excess crude account. And that one, they have a balance of 14.48 billion there. They are paying back 89.97 million every month. So they have uh, 13 years, four months to pay back on that one. If they continue paying, you know. They took another central bank uh, infrastructure loan. 
9.2 billion is the balance they have to pay back. And they are paying 44 million, 980,000 naira every month, deductible from their money. So they have uh, 17 years and one month to pay back. Now, they also took another loan called Federal Government Intervention Loan. They have 1.7 billion to pay back in that one, paying 100 million naira every month. So they have a uh, 17 month to pay back that one. They took another money from Federal Bank, I mean, uh, sorry, Federal Government of Nigeria called uh, Bridge Finance Facility. Money to build bridges in Oshun. 18.4 billion. So they said that uh, most of this money they were taken after July 16th when Olitola lost uh, election. The banks, all of these people still gave him all the money. And uh, when it comes to the foreign loan, Olitola and the uh, Aregbe Mugbo combined, uh, Oshun people, they are owing 86.2 million. David Ophi paid this one. I'll be David, David Daddy. Eh? Governor, they dance. I mean, you don't have, they don't have to. I'm just saying, you know, David or all Davidos that he paid that one off, eh? that foreign loan. Made them remove Oshun people from that foreign loan so that. Uh, uh, no go bad there, get to the to the point that uh, you go be from Oshun and you, you are traveling to, to UK and your plane is having a stopover in Qatar and they are grabbing you and your family. They say, are you people from Oshun? You say, yeah, from Oshun, we are on our way to the UK. We missed our direct flight, so we took a connect. They say, ah, you are not going to the UK. Sukuk loan, Sukuk loan. Say, what is Sukuk loan? Sukuk loan, Sukuk loan, no, Nigeria, Sukuk loan. You took Sukuk loan, they don't pay us. Any Oshun people we see here, we take them to say concentration camp. They pay. Your people pay us Sukuk, Sukuk for Nigeria. Say Sukuk Ubawo. I, I, I don't live in Oshun. I live in uh, I live in Lagos. But your passport says you are from Oshun State. Are you Oshun State? Yes. It's the wrong information. Wrong if I now UK they go egg by me. Now you probably could have encountered that. So David or Daddy or anybody if he paid that one off, oh, like 83 million, not too much, or no be one billion dollars. So if not, eh? If they say if you if now it will get to a stage, eh? Let me tell you something. When they take all this money out, they don't have anything left. So they still have to rely on uh, borrowing money to do anything. Forget it. At the dancer, we have to borrow money to do anything. And that is where he himself will open shop on many of you. When you open shop and they bring the result in four years. Then you come back and remember my Yegun that said, uh, Nigeria no mean well for you. Nigeria is not for you. You know, at that point, now when you want to travel out of Nigeria, or you want to travel to Nigeria, even if you are living in America or UK, you are, we are going home for holiday. You can't carry your Nigerian passport because you don't want visa on your American passport. We are Nigerians. Uh, you can't enter. They can't say, your, your plane will carry you enter uh, one territory that Oshun people they hold money and they don't pay again. They can't see you and your family. They can't hold you. You can't speak grammar. Listen to me. Listen to me. I've been living in America. I'm an American. This is my American passport. We know. We know you Americans. We know. We are sorry. Oh, this is the passport on your system. On our system, it says you are Nigeria from Oshun. Now there you go. Begin the negotiation. Say, hey, how much did they? How much? How much? Do you, I mean, how much did Oshun people hold? Oh, who was? Oh, if you me, don't they mix up? But yeah, now you go come to negotiate this. Say, oh, but how much, how much, how much uh, did uh, my people owe you? Say, 83, 83 million dollars. So have you divided by our population? Say, no, we haven't done that yet. Do you know we have the population of uh, Oshun? Say, yes, yes, let's Google it. Oh, 5 million, 5 million divided by 83 million uh, uh, dollars. How much is my share in that? Well, your share is just about uh, ten thousand dollars. Ha, ten thousand dollars. Yeah, because you've got five family members. Yeah, you have uh, three children, your wife, everybody. So two thousand dollars. Now your debt with that, you go declare debt for border. You they laugh. Eh? You've not heard where African countries they are losing their properties to Chinese who borrowed their money. They couldn't pay back, and they are taking over their national asset. Eh? You are laughing. Eh? As it be now, Nigeria debt. All of us where they carry Nigeria passport everywhere. Nigeria, yeah, are you in Nigeria? Yeah, 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 Nigeria. No, I'm from a different part of Nigeria. It's just a 
Say, but are you a Nigerian? Yes, but, but, my friend, there's no but. Your passport says you're in, a, you are in debt. Nigeria debt is now over $110 billion. When they divide them, plus local and foreign, that one are international debt too. The local debt, everything, when they combine everything, Baba, anywhere where they hold me, hey, hold you, hey, anybody with Nigeria passport, just no say they don't go borrow money from them. And that's exactly what it looks like in Oshun. But this guy is like telling everybody that this is what I found though, before I, before I rob you. Now, what I find be this? So, so and he was sharing this. He said, which was quite, quite clear, right? To say, according to him, he said, Governor Oyetola must explain how the three hundred and thirty-one billion dollars. Uh, sorry, give me one second. Make a make a drink water small. Eh? Don't go anywhere. Just just one moment. Eh? <laughs> Yes. So he said, the total money that they have uh, currently released is uh, 331 billion, while uh, over 70 billion has been uh, accounted as has been totaled as uh, the money hold pensioners, as well as uh, gratuities, as well as uh, salaries. Okay. Now, from his statement as well, which is not just about ma I mean, making this public, he may also make some allegations as well. According to the governor, Yotola must explain how the 18 billion uh, bridge loan taken after he lost the election on July 16, 2022, was expended. So he took 18 billion after he lost the election. And that loan was given to him by, by those who uh, cook up uh, the scam 18 billion. And the money is no longer in the account of, uh, and there is no bridge built with that money today so if you are watching me from Oshun, i know uh many of you are so political but this is your life do with whatever you like uh do whatever you like with uh, this information but to be on record that uh when you want to speak just know that a man they do man no i sure you get that down because uh, now your man or no be you know what i mean this is the life of your children and guess what all of you are either supporting them or opposing them you are all going to be the victims of all of this. And this is where you should think of your future in Nigeria, so to say. So he said, he also further stated, according to him, he said, Governor Yetola must explain why Oshun State is owing salaries and pensions to the tune of 76 billion naira after collecting a 50 billion salary bailout, bailout loan from the federal government. Now, listen to this. They are owing people months and years of salaries and gratuities and pensions right now, yeah, in Oshun State. But how many people in Oshun State uh, will probably know that uh, the total money they are holding the pensioners that could probably have brought uh, this whole thing to up to date? Share you are with me now. Like, hang on, where's uh, make I show you my face? So, what I'm saying is this, right? Think how man they do, Manu. After Aregbe Mugbo, Baba Kabiru, and Ole Tola, eh, Igbe Ragbiji. After they have plundered the states, mismanaged, stole, I mean, stole whatever they could steal. Now, the total uh, pension, the years of unpaid pension of people, unpaid salaries eh, and gratuities to the workers and the ex-workers and all of that, right? It all came to 76 billion uh, naira. That's a lot of money. Oshun barely get one billion or probably five hundred million era today, after they have uh, removed all the deductibles. Okay, and the people we are talking about are Yorubas. Oshun State is like the cradle of Yoruba land as source Ileife, the source. So you think everything they are doing should be, and those in charge of such place should be about the people in that land to how to make them prosper, how to keep them safe, how to keep them prosperous. The care for them, Abi. Even the elderly, the aged. Now, what happened? 
pension is something they deduct from your salaries. It's not something government want to give to you. Now your money we then save somewhere. They are supposed to add their own so that when you are old enough, you can begin to draw money from it. Now, people are old years of this. They are unable to pay for their medicals. Some of them are not eating well. Some of them are homeless because of this unpaid pension and gratuities. Now, let's now say for all these years and all these people, 76 billion naira is the total money. Now, the government of Nigeria provided 50 billion naira loan. It's not free money or loan no, that they will have to pay back. Oh. Sure, you get 50 billion. And that money was specifically to offset those pension and all of that. Now, look at those who have been hold these years of pension and gratuities who have managed to stay alive and survive this. And they are now the people in the basket of this poverty we are talking about. Poverty capital of the world, Nigeria. You will see Yorubas there. You will see Igbos there. You will see Aousas there. You will see Fulani. You will see Ijo. You will see Efik. You will see everybody from everywhere and everybody they suffer. Um, just do it here yeah, that you are able to like, uh, eh? Ologun must struggle. You will survive them every day. You will push them. Nothing they happen. You better shock it here. Yeah. You cannot deny what I'm saying. Our people have been pushed more into poverty, which we know. And this is uh, due to the fact that uh, criminals are not, apart from they are like uh, underpaying people the value of uh, the work they do, they still don't pay them at all. Now, for those who put money away and they, they stole their money when they are working hard, they don't get any penny from it when they retire. Now, they turn that pension gratuity to reward. Ah, they have paid our pension. No, I do pay. Oh, we thank God they have paid our pension. No, ah, oh, yet all our God will bless you. You will not go hungry. Ah, your children will not suffer. People who work there, though, they will turn prayer warriors because their gratuities have been paid. This is not like they have been paid up to date, but they have been paid what they are owed. Now, people have been conditioned to be like this, but no be man, they do man so. They're going to give you 50 billion. Yeah, go and pay some of it. Hey, eh? do you know what that 50 billion will do in the pocket of those they are, they are owing? Some of them will die. They will never touch that money. Some of them will collect that money. It will not be enough to pay for the deteriorated health conditions that they have suffered while waiting for that money. So man suffer man. And it is convenient for them to turn around and say, be careful of Igbo, so be careful of Fulani, and Fulani want to enslave us. So what are you going to call this? This 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 blatant uh, F on tree to boldly and then uh, confidently subject people and bury them in poverty. And we can all blame Nigeria, can't we? Is it, is, it not, I mean, is it not convenient? Imagine what that, if that 50 billion out of 76 billion is put in the pocket of the, the, the poor people in Oshun State alone. Guess what? Oh, they took that money as loan on their behalf. Oh. This is their money. This was their money they stole. Oh. Now somebody now said, take this and pay them. And they still, not, they still didn't pay them. And that's something that personally kind of touched me when I see people who are not supposed to suffer and they are like suffering. Eh? And so many of us will probably ignore, excuse me, who ignore this. That's where I said that man, a man, they do man. So before you point that finger so much at the threat that is coming from uh, without, are you sure that you are not ignoring the real, I mean, uh, the real slavery within some of them, that your bias, your prejudice, will not make you actually speak the, 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 the obvious uh, truth about. You, are, you can easily brush it aside and say, no, no, let's talk about the other threat. The inner threat is the reason why the outer threats are about to consume us. These criminals, especially these uh, thieves from every part of this Nigeria, especially in Yoruba land as well, they are doing their best to keep our people poor Weaken them within, weaken them economically, weaken them mentally, weaken them educationally, weaken them medically. All of these are deliberate. And these are all the ingredients of poverty. And here we are. They are breeding poor people right under our noses. And they are using religion to give you false hope that you could better off, you'll be better off if you pray hard. You'll be better off if you, if you fast more. Guess what? 
they are breeding poor people right under our noses. And they want us to blame everyone else for, our, for, for, for the reason why we are poor. Look at all of this. 50 billion. Imagine 50 billion in the pocket of uh, less than uh, 50,000 people. For years that they have been suffered of their own money. Imagine what that would do economically in the life of an average year. Or shun people. But well, the money is there. They took it, but they still didn't pay it. And this guy is asking. People should ask him, what did he do with it? And Taiwo, that's exactly what he's been told. And guess what, eh? Two, what did they say? They are like, two facts can coexist for for an obvious reasons, right? If you say he is dear now to do something, and all of these, which is usual, by the way, ah, people are going to get away. What is he going to do about it? Because he's going to steal too, which is the obvious thing. So this is not me trying to explain to you hmm, how they stole your money or they stole people's money. No, 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 no. That is not the message. I'm actually showing to you how much and factually by so the culpability of the criminals who look like you, who speak like you, who dresses like you, who sometimes claim that uh, they are like you and me. How much of uh, what they are doing to weaken us within and how much of uh, maybe strength we could have had if indeed they were actually for us. Now, I don't know how they are, like I projected already. I don't know how it is going to be for those who are the young people that are going to be sold the same lie they sold to many of you. For example, 24 years ago, well, to some of us, 24 years ago, 24 years or 23, yeah, 24 years after, we know better. Now, if you have to use Oshun as a picture, now you know that, uh, like I said, hmm? if you are rejecting Nigeria, please don't ignore those who made everything happening to us today happen or possible. The likes of these guys, they are Yorubas too. However, I've got uh, an extension, uh, an extension which uh, borders on uh, uh, our ongoing uh, family support, uh, you know, uh, adventure, by the way. So I have an update for you, everyone on that. Now, uh, the first one is, uh, hang on, I think I'm going to take uh, a short uh, break. Uh, when I take that short break, when I get back, I'll give you this update. In fact, let me show you one of them. One of the, the uh, stores I've been uh, shown from our supposed uh, warehouse, getting ourselves ready, okay? Here is one of them. Lower in line, you combine one, two, three, four, five. So, one, OJ, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? 15, it will go back. So a thousand two hundred low and in Ubu Gwe buying. So we can give, we can put each in every. Sure you get. So don't go anywhere. I'll tell you more when I get back. Hmm? And uh, if you probably have uh, something else to go and do as well, maybe maybe I can excuse you, okay? But if you are a part of this already, I'll say don't go anywhere. I've got this uh, lovely update to have. Let me to give to you. I wanna go and make another cup of tea. <laughs>
Anyway, thank you very much. Some of you will think I only drink the tea when I'm, um, you know, when I'm with you. I actually, I live on, I live on tea. Sincerely speaking, if I come to your house, just offer me tea. I'll drink tea. And it's just the, this weird uh, kind of a tea mixture, right? I believe that I even make uh, the best tea. I believe I make the best and the greatest tea. And it's weird somehow. Uh, I use a lot of uh, milk. And then I use honey. Not a lot of it, but just as a sweetener. And that's my tea. And I can drink like up to 40 cups in a single day. And that is why I don't, uh, I don't really eat much, to be sincere. I don't eat much. I eat maybe, I eat when I'm hungry and I barely get hungry when I drink tea. So it's just like, you know, when you stop drinking the tea, then you feel hungry, then you eat. Or you feel like, oh, I need to eat something. So yeah, I love tea. And wherever there is no tea, I will, I mean, I will drink uh, this cream coffee. As long as it is warm, I'm fine. So thank you very much for staying back. Uh, the reason why we uh, need this update uh, tonight, which I am going to possibly mix with Yoruba, and I'm also going to keep my line open for everyone who might want to probably chip in or call in, okay? Uh, we are planning to reach out to at least 500 uh, families, mostly elderly people, across the uh, targeted uh, eight states which we consider to be Yoruba populated states uh, in Nigeria. So we have uh, Lagos, we have uh, Ogu, we have uh, Kwara, we have uh, Kogi, we have Oshun, we have Ekiti, we have Ondo. Uh, have I missed anything? Sorry, I was supposed to be counting. So in our own way, we have uh, some resources that we could put towards this. And uh, we intend to do probably more because it's so minute, so tiny. Like, you know, even logistic alone, logistics alone is going to take a chunk of our money, getting, our own, getting ourselves down to where they should be and then reach out to the people we want to reach out to. But we believe that uh, it is not impossible. And therefore... Uh, we have been receiving support, by the way. When I say support, I'm talking about people who are providing logistics for us in a way to make it, a, I mean, to make it happen. 500 people, we could do that, you know, uh, with uh, what we have. And uh, I am happy to tell you, for those who are living in the UK, I don't know if now only me, or, I, I don't have a Nigerian bank account, so therefore, I don't have Naira. I don't know anything about it other than when I want to exchange, I mean, exchange or transfer or send money. However, in period like this, they are usually the period where a lot of people are going to be sending money for this or that. And they will tell you, Naira is scarce. It will surprise you because people like us that spend their pound sterling, right? We will have to buy the Naira. That's what we do. You know, when we send money like that, we are buying the Naira. So we determine how much we're going to pay. Or in period like this, you might be hunting for Naira. Like say you did hunt for, you know, that good ultimate search, yeah? I got a good news. I've uh, put in my request uh, for a while. And then uh, I've been told that uh, they will make uh, some Nairas available for us. For the Timo back at home. Meanwhile, before we even make any kind of uh, financial commitment... Uh, to those who are going to be our suppliers of many of the things that we intend uh, to back uh, together to package and give to the people uh, during, uh, during this uh, Yuletide. Uh, they are already, you know, I like that, by the way. And there's something we always brag about on Mayegun's Diary Political. We brag about uh, the trust. We say, oh, yeah, Mayegun, they trust you. Oh, Mayegun, we trust you. And I said, well, it is a currency. The currency that we spend, and I believe it's, it's actually the most valuable currency that you can spend in a place that is value, is the same everywhere, is trust. So we are all dealing on a blind trust. 
and we believe that uh, if you say you want to be part of this, you are indeed, you want to be part of this. There's no compulsion. So we have many of you, because I've got a lot of you who are like a multimillionaire yourself. And what I know about people with money is that uh, they don't, uh, they don't like, uh, they don't like uh, falling uh, full with their money. Sure you get now. So what happened is that uh, when you see people who, are, who have money, they want to see you do something. They want to see action. They want to see, they just don't want to see words. Well, guess what? On this platform as well, I have uh, the regular people. And the majority of us are actually like regular people. Day-to-day -day running, I mean, business running people, private, supposedly private people, whose, uh, you know, subconscious mind, conscious mind and subconscious and the rest of that, uh, somehow, somehow connected uh, together with others on Mayagun's diary political, which is uh, the meeting point or the melting pot of all of us who have one or two things uh, that we have uh, known and rejected about Nigeria. In a way, we found ourselves. So trust is that uh, currency we spend here. Uh, Mayagun, we trust him. That's a very powerful thing, though. It's easy to say, but trust me, my brothers and sisters, eh? the value of each trust can be measured by the people who are brandishing that trust. On this platform, we have the one. We have one of the one, I mean, one of the best that you can always count on anywhere. So what did we do? Uh, some of us have decided to just say, well, you know what? For the success, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give you whatever you want. Uh, just, just say, hey, we'll deliver them for you. Just say, hi. So on this platform, we can say a very general thank you to uh, Irumole. Uh, is an asset to uh, so many of uh, our programs on this platform and then uh, as well as uh, outside this uh, platform, uh, I would say. So Irumole, uh, quite delivered. And then I was sent uh, some clips. They are short, okay? They are like glimpses of the arrival of the things we intend uh, to put together and give to, we are talking about quality food, yeah. Quality standard, meal, you know, food that uh, we intend to, in fact, eh, broaden at some point, and we call it uh, reaching out uh, to the people. Yeah, here's another clip they sent to me, by the way. We can put two in every pack. Yeah? We can put two, that is one, 1,000 gram. So, you know, every pack. Uh, we still have so many other things to put, though. So I was like, ah, well, you are that be a Rwandia, princess. Would love to see what's inside. I know that's uh, too much ask. I don't know. I mean, I could only imagine all the efforts that uh, got all of. I mean, got everything to that place. Now, ordinarily, if we start uh, giving uh, two two of that, according to what she said. 1,000 to 200 people will probably, you know, sorry, 600 people will get a 2-2 two, two each. I mean, that's what she said. Or maybe I didn't hear her right. So break it. Princess, we'll see what's in the inside. That's what I told her. So I got a glimpse, and I'm going to show you. No. Okay, thank you. Okay, spaghetti, my 50 packs. I'll do all right, Camaro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, 10, buy. 20, 30, 40, 50, buy. So you get. So which is all right. We haven't paid for that too. So what I was about to tell you then about my bank uh, is that uh, when I put in that request, uh, are we going to get? They say, oh, no, no, of course, we'll get something for you tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I was thinking that it probably would be by Monday. So, which means that uh, we are still good to go, okay? And on these notes, I'm going to call that my update. And if you have any, I mean, mind you, you are going to get to know which day and days eh, this whole thing is going to take place, okay? They are going to tell us. You know me, I am just, uh, I am just like at the holding bay. So, once we have something we need to do, what we do is that we contact the old Dimbe and say, what do we have in your kitty? How much do we have there? What can that do for us? Now, so far, so good. We have decided to work with what, the, what we have, what it can do for us. 
And what it can do for us is that uh, it can take care of uh, 500 people. Eh? Uh, maybe not conveniently, because when you put uh, how much of uh, the logistics that goes into this, and most of them are going to be like volunteering, not like anything. So, you know what I mean? So, definitely, we will do that uh, wherever it takes before the end of the year. And they are beginning to arrive. I like that. So, uh, we are waiting for like another, uh, for, a, for a starter, by Monday or Tuesday, we are expecting, maybe in that same spot or somewhere else, we are expecting the arrival of uh, at least... 50 bags of uh, our expected rice. So that uh, will be that. And uh, do I have anything else to add? Mm? So I'm just going to possibly uh, let, uh, hang on. Yeah. I, I, I know I always have issue with uh, my, uh, what do you call it? My phone connection and all that. And I believe I have done what I could do. To make sure that uh, that doesn't happen tonight, okay? But I'll keep where uh, I'll, I'll wait, okay? I'll be trying to work it out. So if you have any question or anything to add to what I have said tonight, you are free to call in uh, to make that uh, contribution, okay? And if I have any question on the... <laughs> oh, no. We might be suffering the same uh, fate like we did the, the last time. And this is... This is, I mean, this is a, uh, at a point where uh, if you have been part of us uh, all this while, okay, and you think that uh, we could or we should possibly do more mm, in any way or at any point in time, you are most welcome uh, to, or do you call it, to uh, reach out to us, okay? So I have uh, other things as well that uh, I have on this, but usually we do a special program on it where we can lay all the cards in the open and everybody can actually pick on it and you know share their views and all that. So uh, thank you very much. I don't think the line is going to do us right tonight. Hang on. Uh, let's see. No. So you probably would tell me, my ego, you need to fix that. Anyway, let's uh, probably just uh, take a break, okay? And call it a night again. And I did promise you that uh, if I was coming on again, I'm going to like uh, allow the call. So uh, give me a moment. And we are, comp we are competing with our brothers and the bandits. To recruit from the youths who are unemployed, 33% unemployed. Recruit 50 million youths into the army and the other uh, Take away from their recruitment source. What do we eat? Cassava, eh, Badu, eh, corn, uh, in the morning, eh, yam in the afternoon. It's growing here. You create demand as consumption. For over 5 million uh, army of uh, boot camps, we create our food. I mean, that's money for the farmers. That's consumption. I know, but, but, but it was like, uh, Abi, Abi. Anyway, uh, just so uh, one moment, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I think we. Uh, I am suffering that same bug. Eh, uh, where the connection between the phone and all of these devices and all of them, right? They, they disconnect, they, they don't grieve for themselves. So as people are trying to call in, yeah, getting them to, I mean, getting them connected to the major uh, line is doing some uh, Bulu Bala and Bala Blue. So you get like a Iggy Aga, you know, and all that. I apologize, okay? I mean, it's also like uh, most, I mean, like, form part of our conversation where after everyone sit back 
to say I, I am mean, to listen and all of that. Then you come on and then uh, you add your own voice. And then uh, sometimes you, you know, well, all the times people add their different perspectives to the conversation that some, you know, I kind of sit down there and be like, wow. You know, all of that. So if the, if that's a uh, talking back as in like a feedback, uh, part of our conversation is continually to give us problem. I blame myself. Okay. But I am not going to uh, just bore you with jargons and nonsense, okay? So what we're going to do is that uh, we'll call it tonight. I could just continue talking and talking about other things, but trust me, hmm? it takes some few preparation as well to uh, get some of this old conversation, uh, you know, sort of, sort of uh, in faces in style, and then see, make them interesting for you. Sure you get. So if uh, the preparation is not that much, yeah, you can say, my you going just go and rest. Don't worry. I know that's some. That is the what uh, Mama Lizzie Dada will say. She will be like, uh, "Oh my ego, just go and get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow, okay?" And that's what I'm gonna do. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, tomorrow is another day. Uh, by tomorrow, uh, the the biggest uh, chunk of what we need to ensure that what we plan to do as our end of the year meets the people. Uh, you know, program across the uh, Yoruba land uh, is achieved and it is successful as well, uh, no matter how small or big it gets. So if you are still in any way interested in being part of this, there, is a, there are links in the, in, uh, the description of this uh, video. Open them up. You can use the PayPal. You can use the Give, Send, Go. You can use, uh, what do you call it, the Cash App as well. But remember, you can always add a message to your donation or contribution and what have you, okay? Add the message that says, this is for the uh, family support or end of the year family support uh, program. And it's going to go straight to it as well. And every penny will be appreciated. And to all of you who have been supporting us and watching Codedly, let's see. Let's see what's in there go to my brother, my sister. Mm -hmm. It's good enough to observe there's so much nonsense going on right now that I could dissuade you but let's you know i've told people this is not a competition we are not in competition with anybody okay and we are not going to sort of uh, uh sort of uh, uh, suffocate ourselves just to prove anything i've told people we have nothing to prove to anybody the whole thing is dearer to us and the approach towards it as well should show how much this is dear to us and people can feel others can actually like uh, express how they feel. You know what I mean? So in this case, eh, you can observe, but we're going to do it. And then we are grateful to every one of you as, uh, you know, turn up as usual on Mayegun's Diary Political. This is going to, uh, you know, eventually cost us uh, close to 3 million Naira. And then, uh, yeah, and even more, with what I've been kind of being told, you know, codedly now, we are likely going to be crossing over that 3 million. I hope we we'll have enough to cover ourselves. But as it is now, we are more than 98% ready to do based on what we have uh, uh, planned. And thank you once again to every one of you. Enjoy your evening or enjoy your day if you are already in another day like Australia. Or if you are already, if you are still just in the afternoon like uh, in the US, enjoy the rest of the day. Or if you are like me here in Europe, or you are watching me from Nigeria or any part of Europe land, eh? I'm going to say this to you. Enjoy your own uh, evening as well. And good night. From my ego, I'm going to see you some other time.
Ashiria jalu ki iboni veo Maye kudayari ya ibi nukawa O bashe ani maye kumawi Maye kudayari ya ibi nukawa O situshere wa agoni veo Maye kudayari ya ibi nukawa Maye kudayari dayari politiko Maye kudayari ya ibi nukawa Godfather is in Si la Roma ye du ma ye du da ya ni na ipi no kawa e para bale se o ke goro lenu ma ye du da ya ni na ipi no kawa ani ma ye du la wa mo la wa mo do 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 ma ye du da ya ni na ipi no kawa ani e sun ra ki Ojelu esunaki, aye kuti de, aye esunaki, aye kuti de. Lori Facebook, aye kuti de, aye esunaki, aye kuti de. Lori YouTube, aye kuti de, aye esunaki, aye kuti de. Baba bage ure, aye kuma bi, aye esunaki, aye kuti de. Dijo ibadi ye. Presido Barufio, Maye Kumabi, Anye Zulaki, Maye Kutide, Igo ni nanko oje, Maye Kumabi, Anye Zulaki, Maye Kutide, Olo Patinda Riba, Maye Kumabi, Anye Zulaki, Maye Kutide, Asho Fitin Rufio, Maye Kumabi, Anye Zulaki, Maye Kutide, Ogura Olo Shelu, Ojelu-e-sun-ra-ki Shukwe ni ba ti she yi to o ye ki wan she Omo ba de ro ni fi mwa ni ra o Ma ye bo ti de Go go o je du e sura ki Ma ye bo ti de Go go o je du e sura ki Shukwe ni ba ti she yi to o ye ki wan she Omo ba de ro o ni fi mwa ni ra o Wafo wo be o, ma ye kun o so pe wo o be be. Wafo wo be, ma ye kun o so pe wo o be be. Oni kan sha ti she yi do ya ki wo she, ma wa ra yi lu to be wo de be o. Aye, ma ye bo ti de, bo bo o je lu e sura ki. Ma ye bo ti de. Sugba ni Muzika But I let you know, she won't let go. Mama, she's the one who puts it down. She won't go down. She's my baby. Hey, 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 h